All right, hello everybody, and uh, welcome back to another um, look back. Welcome back to another uh, MC Radio Show uh, episode. I think it's episode sixty-four. Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm actually not talking to you via my usual setup because of um, because of um. Well, it's because my phone's charging at the moment, and I uh, couldn't do that. So, um, so yeah, guys, I um, I'm here on a I'm sorry about that. I just had to close my door. So yeah, today is Wednesday, the sixth of May. Um, it's um, it's another day, and um, I hope you guys are staying safe and you guys are doing all, everything in your power. Um, just want to just want to say aloud that uh, make sure we're all wearing masks because those are mandatory now for your be a state order. If you live in Massachusetts or anywhere else, make sure you wear a mask so we can. Slow down the transmission of this thing, um, the virus, uh, COVID-19. Um, I believe we are now in, um, believe we're now in our third, yeah, yeah, it's the, it's May 6th. Also, also it is 19 days before the channel anniversary, which I'm happy about. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to figure something out. Uh, celebrate five years on the internet. Um, 4,300 and like 70 something views later. Um, you know, and uh, 42 subscribers later. You know, it's just, uh, you know, I'll have to figure out something to do. Um, so I hope you guys are staying safe and everything. I'm staying safe. Um, it is my, um, it's my second day back um, after taking the weekend off, and uh, hopefully, um, hopefully I can. The next time I have time off is July 11th through the 20th. Um, I'm hoping uh, uh, I'm going to be taking a vacation that week. Um, hopefully, the border opens up because I'm uh, planning to go to. I was planning to go. To, I'm planning to go to Canada. Hopefully, the border opens up. Um, before this whole thing um so hopefully this thing ends soon and we get back to normal um you know if there is a normal if normal can even be to work i mean typical i shouldn't say typical it's that um you know you know it's the way things are um i just want to say that um uh my store is actually getting a little bit more business because if you haven't heard the news here in massachusetts a bunch of walmarts have been closing because of uh, the virus and COVID-19, it was, uh, um, there's, uh, three, there's three Walmarts in my area. There's one in Avon, there's one in Abington, there's one in Quincy. Um, they all, uh, the one in Quincy had to close because of a reported death. Um, so, and, uh, the one in Abington and Avon are also, Avon is my hometown um it's a little it's a little blip on the it's a little blip on the map uh at massachusetts uh southern southeastern massachusetts if you can call it that it's i'm not on the north shore or um i'm basically in the southeast uh part of the state um small little area uh and everything so um and I'm not in the city, far away from the city. I'm like actually, actually 45, eh, 30 minutes away from the city. Um, f- about 30 minutes via, about 45 minutes via uh, car and about 35 minutes or 40 minutes via train. Um, although I won't be heading up there anytime soon because of this 
virus, but hopefully I can go up to, um, last time I was in the city was February, um, when I visited Tom and it was a good idea. Uh, and I did have a visit. I think I visited in January, February. Um, and it was actually good, smart on our parts because we didn't know when this thing was going to, when, when this thing was going to flare up. So it was great timing and, uh, you know, everything's good. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, the next time I'm taking time off is July 11th. So that'd be 65 days from now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that'd be 60 odd days from now, 65 odd days from now. Um, and, uh, yeah, and this would be 60 plus, yeah, it's, yeah, it's 65, yeah, it's 65 odd days from now. So I'm going to challenge myself to make sure that I stay healthy for the whole, for the whole 65 days so I can have, so I can have the time if I need it. And, um, it would be fun, uh, just, uh, uh, you know, it's really good because I'm getting back into the, uh, it's, I feel confident again. Uh, the last couple of months have been kind of up and down the hours have been bad. Uh, I filled my time working down the Cape with my dad. Um, but you know, this is finally uh, really good. Um, it's, uh, really, it's just, you know, it's just one of those things. You just get to deal with what's going on and you just got to survive the best you can and you have to go as fast as you can and, you know, and just be very good. Um, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, I'm good. Um, I've haven't had symptoms since symptoms of the virus since, since, uh, Wednesday last week. So, um, and everything. So, and then a couple of days working and then weekend off till Monday. And then here I am back. Um, so it's, you know, it's, uh, it's just one of those things and, uh, just keep trucking on and we'll, and I'll get through this and hopefully we'll all get through this if we just believe and hunker down and, um, well, not hunker down, but, you know, we just stay together, we stay positive and we just do what we need to do and we do what Americans do best and that's get through any hardship that we, that comes upon us. So, um, and everything else. So, yeah, um, so yeah, um, I, for those of you who are looking at this, I'm probably going to put a picture of a uh, Corvette, um, to replace the black screen, but yeah, um, it's just one of those things, you know, just make sure we stay safe, make sure your toes in your hands and, um, Purell and wash your hands when you need to wear that mask and don't touch your face. And do whatever, do whatever you need to do. Um, I, I watched this 57 minute video that probably, um, probably tells, uh, probably tells all, but I've kind of changed the restrictions a little bit, um, on how I wear my masks and everything. So I don't get it again. Um, so, well, so I don't have to sit out with what, what I think I had. I think I just had cup flu and stomach bugs and all this other, all this other stuff. So, you know, you know. Um, but yeah, it was pretty scary and I'm happy to be around again, uh, and not have to sit for 14 days because if I tested positive, I'd have to sit for 14 days and that'd be bad. Um, and my body can't stand seven, seven days doing nothing is, it was bad enough. 14 would have been another, another 20, 20 days down would have been pretty bad. So, um, but Okay, on to more positive stuff. So I told you guys uh, in the last um, episode, I think 63, um, that I was, that I, you know, while I was down trying to cure myself of whatever I had that wasn't coronavirus, um, I uh, watched, um, I watched a lot of, you know, a lot of TV. Uh, you know, I watched some uh, anime subbed. Um, especially, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX season four. Um, I thought I, I always thought they dubbed season four, but they did. Um, but they didn't. Um, and, uh, it's, um, it's actually pretty interesting stuff. You know, I just, um, uh, it's, um, 
You know, it's a combination of all. I mean, I watched the other three seasons. It's a combination of what happened all three seasons and uh, the way they did everything. Uh, a lot of people say that season four DX was brushed. Um, from what I saw, uh, I, I thought it was paced pretty well and they did what they needed to do. Uh, I think they should have um, spent a few more um, episodes. Maybe they could have 35, 36 episodes to maybe completely close it off um, and everything. But I think the reason why they didn't do a full length season four was because um well obviously the next series 5ds was going to come out um and um technically um season four was just a continuation of their third of uh the dual academy third year uh in in the uh, tv show tv show basically it was like the last like six months of the of the uh school year for them and uh um it just kind of felt fitting to it to it uh i gotta say every Every single episode, there's at least one or one or two duels. Um, even though there's multiple off screen, um, but there's but on screen duels, there's almost every single episode. All twenty four episodes have a duel in progress or have something going on in progress. Uh, I kind of like that because sometimes there's some action. There's not a lot happening. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. There's a couple of um, there's a couple of episodes where they don't duel for when they don't duel actually but then um yeah it's it's really good i mean uh, i thought that the um I, I thought that it was kind of a good thing that they didn't dub um season four because i watched seasons one two and three and i always thought that that they um you know I, they have to censor so much obviously because obviously they can't mention half the stuff that they do in the anime because the Japanese version because of, of course, censorship and sensitivity is like, they can't mention death or anything. Um, and, uh, you know, they have to censor out violence or whatever, even though the monsters themselves are actually blowing themselves to bits that the humans in the, in the show can't, can't admit any violence. It's got to be down to the, uh, monsters themselves. Well, obviously that was the, aim. that's the aim technically. Um, the way I see it, uh, from what I remember from season three, uh, the main protagonist, uh, Jaden, uh, basically is in a funk because he doesn't know what the heck's going on uh, with his life. He's basically in an existence um, drift. And um, in, in the 24 episodes, he gains it slowly, but... He gains it slow. He gains it back slowly as the episodes draw on, and um, uh, when he first starts uh, dueling in the early episodes, he kind of finishes his duels early. He really just doesn't, because I remember in season one, I remember, because I remember in season one and two, um, he, you know, he practically, you know, he wanted to. The reason why they stretch the duels out in um, the first three episodes is because, of course, it's drama and you know, they got to they gotta have them, you know, they got to have a dynamic story um, and everything. You know, it would always be, you know, he'd always, you know, how typical people play. If they want a really good duel, you know, they they summon a monster in defense mode and um, and. And he passes his turn and whatever. This season, he doesn't do any of that. I think in the first episode alone, he basically um, first turned against Truman, one of the uh, one of the enemies. Um, he actually performed. He actually performs fusion summon, special summon, and then normal summon uh, all in one turn, and he ends up beating um, Truman in like two turns, two of his turns. Truman doesn't even get to attack actually the whole time. He, he well he does, but he never he never lands a blow really. He gets getting down to three thousand light points, but he really doesn't do any significant damage. And Jane's basically like you know blows him down and um with uh well not well, not my favorite card tool on duel links is uh is uh elemental hero uh, Neos and 
sort of becoming my favorite card. It's like um, it's it's like Jaden's Dark Magician, basically. Um, and uh, two three episodes in, you know, plot plot opens up, um, uh, and you know all the characters are trying to figure and all of the all of Jaden's friends are trying to figure out what's wrong with him. Uh, he's a little bit more distant. He's not as um, He's not as uh, talkative. He doesn't smile a heck of a lot. And um, when he does smile, it's when he's about to win, win a duel or beat his opponent. Other than that, he's not smiling. He's usually just serious and um, and everything. I think in the middle-ish, he sort of, after, I think after he does a pair duel with Alexis and um, Alexis, uh, he sort of gains back the joy of dueling, and I think, and then eventually they kind of stray away from him a little bit, kind of focus on, they focus on other characters for a bit, and then uh, eventually 10, 11, 12, they sort of go back to him, and they get to back to the main plot point, and uh, um, they try to close some character arcs. In seven, eight, nine, and then ten, eleven, twelve, they start going back to him, and then the and then 13, 13 14, 15, 16, and on. Um, it just starts to really take up, and then, um, and uh, you know the duels become become more, um, and then eventually he uh, reduels. Um, I think it was like sixteen, seventeen, or eighteen or nineteen. He ends up. Um, I think it's like 15, 16, 17 in the dueling Sartorius from season two, even though he can't quite predict the future like he could back then. Um, he um, then eventually, because when he goes to Domino City, Domino City is completely wiped out and everybody's disappearing and everything. Everybody's falling to darkness, to darkness or night shroud as we know them in English. And then eventually, uh, you know, he, they tackle, uh, they tackle Night Shroud. And then eventually, uh, then eventually, uh, you know, he duels Night Shroud, um, all by himself. And then eventually he duels Yugi. And, uh, of course there's no conclusion to that because, you know, they didn't want to. And, uh, I, I just think it was a really good season. Uh, it may sound rushed to people, but I thought it was nice. Uh, usually, it's not. It's not as. Um, it's it's not as. It there's some sentimental moments, but it's not as. Um, it's not as laid back as the other seasons, and they kind of wanted to do that with it. And, um, and it's good that they didn't dub it because they would have cut out a lot. Like I mean, literally, there's a scene where. Um, Jaden, um, stalking to Alexis's brother and tries to get a couple inches out of him while he's on a hospital bed and he's trying to recover from, from, from injuries and stuff. And, uh, he, um, and then he, uh, ends up, um, and then he ends up, um, and then he ends and, you know, tries to get some information out of him and, and, uh, she actually slaps Jaden, actually, and Alexis actually slaps Jaden, actually, so, um, which probably would have gotten edited out in the dub, and it would have been, and he would have just got a bruise, he just would have shown her with a bruise mark, and, and it would have cut to him talking, and, you know, it just would have been, just wouldn't have been those things, so I, I thought it was really good, definitely good, definitely good, solid, uh, I, there's a guy named Reaction Room who, who actually has the episodes subbed on his channel and he does full episodes as reaction videos. So yeah, I, I think it was good and I, uh, I definitely enjoyed it very much. So, um, but yeah, that's my thought of GX. And I thought, you know, there were some really good cards, like really good cards that came out. Um, eventually he, uh, I think during his battle at Nitro, he does divine Neos because, you know, he's, Try basically trying to, um, n not trying to throw any religious stuff in here, but, um, he's, but, you know, he's trying to bring light into the world and everything after all the darkness that's been created. So, 
you know, it's um, pretty good. Um, but yeah. All right. That's enough for me, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, it's enough for me to, for me today. Uh, I thought I'd just take you guys, uh, take your mind off um, stuff for a little bit. Um, I may record gameplay maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Um, don't know what game, but all right, everybody, uh, this is Mike Mo for another radio show episode 64. Stay safe out there. And, uh, this ends the broadcast for today. Um, and as usual, everybody long live America. God bless America. Long live, um, long live our freedoms and our rights. Um, amen to my, amen to all the spirits out there, all the workers out there, all those people. And, um, pray for my friends, let them all stay strong. And I think it is good. I think this is the first time I think I've said that in a while, actually, in this video. So everybody, since the broadcast for tonight, I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed.